Hey, what's up fanatics? Charles Powers here to show you guys the latest piece of tech that we've got our hands on. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the Roswell SP7260 2.0 gaming speaker set. I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this bad boy for you guys. So this is a 2.0 system, meaning there are two speakers in here. There's no sub. Now, for me personally, that's a welcome change. I currently have a sub in my PC gaming system and um, doesn't really do much for me. I find that I really want that hard hitting bass when I'm watching movies or playing console games in my living room. So I am actually kind of excited to have a 2.0 system that has, you know, it's not gonna have as much punch as having that, you know, isolated subwoofer, but you're still gonna have a little bit of bass, it promises. So we'll see. More on the bass in a little bit, but let's jump right into it. So. Right off the bat, the Roswell SP7260 catches your eye with its striking design. Behind the black mesh grill are the black and gold tweeter and woofer capped off with the gold honeycomb at the bottom. The control knobs, aux, and headphone inputs are on the side, with RCA speaker-to-speaker -speaker output and power input on the back. Yes, these speakers are certainly visually appealing. The cabinet is also made of solid wood. Now what about the audio? I tested these out in a variety of ways. Here you see my Surface Pro hooked up and Spotify playing. I also watched a few movies and played some games on Steam. The SP7260 sounded great across the board with one obvious caveat, the lack of booming bass, though that shouldn't come as a surprise. Music and dialogue came across crisp and smooth. Oh, hey Scout, what up? You sneaky dog, you. Back to the task at hand though. Music and vocals are great. You hear the tonal ranges fairly distinctly. I expected the bass to be a bit punchier, but that's a personal preference. The bass is certainly loud enough to have your apartment neighbors comment about it. Uh, howdy neighbor, were those uh, new speakers last night? Uh, don't ask me how I know that. Two big issues for me though, over the past couple of weeks of playing around with these, there's hissing and the speakers cut out. Now this happened infrequently, but it also only takes one or two times before you gnash your teeth and want to Van Damme kick everybody in sight. Let's get back to those knobs though. There's a blue LED indicator, and I also wanted to make sure to point out that the knobs allow you to adjust the volume, the treble, and the bass. Kind of obvious, but wanted to make sure I pointed that out. Thanks so much to Roswell for sending over this unit for the purpose of this review. So there you have it. My take on the Roswell SP7260 2.0 gaming speaker. As always, we here at the Game Fanatics really want to know what you guys thought about each video, this one in particular. We're trying to do more tech and gadget reviews for you guys, see what you guys want to see. This particular piece of tech really stood out to me uh, because as someone who produces videos and whatnot for a living, I actually have a Rocket KRK RP6s sitting at my studio. So I really wanted to test these out and I wasn't expecting anything grandiose in comparison, but I wanted to share this with you guys. So if you guys want to know anything more that I didn't cover or I didn't touch on, if you're considering buying this, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. And if there's any other piece of tech, gadget, anything else you'd like me to talk about in the next video, feel free to leave me a tweet. My Twitter is at FanaticalG. And of course you can check out thegamefanatics.com for all the latest gaming, geek culture, news, gadgets, everything. And you can follow our collective on Twitter. We are at TheGameFanatics. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.